game, play no games, play, play no game, play no games, play, play no game. This video is for howtomarkcards.com. This is the water bottle infrared camera used with the poker analyzer. This is the infrared bottle. And we're going to do this in chapters. All right, so first, let's look at the remote. This is the remote. It stays in your pocket, very discreet, in built-in battery. The unlock button attaches it to the poker analyzer. The lock button disables it from the poker analyzer. Middle button doesn't do anything. This is it right here. Top comes off, normal lid, normal water bottle. It's got like a little filter in there. It's like a shaker. Very, very thick glass too, you can see. Very thick. The bottom is where the battery is. So if you like this, take it out. There's the battery. When you purchase, you get two batteries total. So let's just, I'll show you what the battery looks like. You also get a battery charger. So you take the battery, you put it in this hole, and then you use a USB-C charger, and it plugs into the wall and charges the battery. Put the battery in here when it's fully charged. So this is step two to connect the water bottle. When you're in the game and you're looking at the desired stuff like four player, default, everything's here. For testing purposes, we're doing voice instead of headset. We're doing our speaker instead of headset. And we're doing wireless 2.7G to connect the water bottle to the poker analyzer. If you want the camera on the analyzer to work, you just go to local camera. But we're doing 2.57G to connect an external camera. Hit play, you're going to see fuzz. That's normal. Don't panic. A lot of people do. Now we're doing the unlock button. Now it's connected. Now, as you can see, I don't know what we're looking at here. We're lo oh, we're looking at this right here. So the camera's over there. So I'm gonna move this. As you can see, it's moving. There's the cards. So the camera is right here. So we're gonna look at the camera. The next step is to show the distance, the maximum and minimum distances. So we got the analyzer, I'm going into it. I don't want it to I don't want it to read anything right now. I want to start from over here. I think that's too dark. Let's move it closer. Too dark. One, two, right four, there. Three, There's the maximum. One, two, four, three, one, two, four, so we have a distance one, two, of four, three, one, two, about four, three, 15 inches. So I would say 14 to 15 between between there. One, two, four, three, one, two, now let's get four, the minimum. Three, one, two, four, three. Too close. Yes, way too close. Let's go back. Back. One, two, four, right there. There's the minimum. We're looking one, at about two, 10 four, inches. So we got one, two, 10 four, to 15 three, inches one, two, of range. Four, three, one, so that's right around here. 10 to 15 one, two, inches of range. In terms of sides, it's got an one, angle two, of like four, three, right one, here. Two, four, three, so make sure that's what you're looking at. It's perfect for dealers. As long as they have a water bottle by them, they can take a sip, put it back down, memorize where it goes. And this will always work. Very, very discreet. We've got deactivating now because some people like to switch camera to camera when they can. So let's look at that. So to do that, you just hit the lock button. Deactivates it. That can go over here and then this can exit. Now, one more thing to show you. Let's put this upside down. The off button is this little button right here. You just click that and it turns off. So 
Now it's off. Battery range is around four hours, four to five hours, depending on how many hands you're playing. Because it's reading uh, constant use, like when it's on, it's about five five hours, four to five. Um, you can buy this at howtomarkcards.com. Play, play no games. Play, play no games. Play, play no games.